Hi. I had my laser appointment yesterday, and I'm very proud of myself. I feel like I've taken a step in the right direction. It's kind of weird when you look back and you think about, you know, you start here and then you go here and here and here and here. And after a while, you look back and you realize how far you've actually come and everything you've accomplished. And then you realize it's all just a bunch of little steps. But I'm very happy. I feel like I'm on the right track. Mm. I <clears throat> next time I go in for my laser appointment she said that I can actually do an interview with her so that's going to be cool so since I am doing an interview with her next time I'm only going to cover the aftermath of laser hair and the first thing is directly after laser hair removal, your face is going to be red. And this may last only for a couple of hours or it can last a couple of days. Um, also, it's okay to wear makeup after your laser appointment, but you should probably moisturize first. Which, anyone that wears makeup for a long period of time should moisturize anyway. Um, also, after you get done with your laser treatment, you might feel that your hair is still growing and that it didn't work. This isn't the case. What happens actually is that the, de um, the pore pushes out the dead follicle slowly, you know, so you have to keep on... Uh, you know what I'm saying. And eventually it does push out the dead follicle. And then you have a period of a couple weeks where you don't have any hair growth. Which is very cool. But then eventually it comes back. So it's also important to schedule an appointment every four to six weeks depending on your hair growth cycle. Okay. So that's the basics when it comes to, you know, what to expect after getting your laser appointment done. Yeah, the, uh, the person that did me, she was, she was really quick. She just, do, 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 do. five minutes flat, done. So I thought that was really remarkably quick. I mean, when I was going to the other place, it took a lot longer and they put this gel on. Still had the same feeling like you're getting smacked with a rubber band. And still the same smell of either burnt popcorn or fried chicken. Mmm. Tastes like chicken. So even we, apparently, if we don't taste like it, we smell like it. Um. My, my brother, my little brother, who I, I'm going to say my baby brother, even though he's an adult, I mean, he's four years younger than me, so yeah, he's an adult. He wrote me, and I was happy that he did. It made me feel good, and I like that. I'm a little bit nervous about... Oh. Okay, since I just recently had my hair done, a while back, me and Teresa made an agreement that once I got my laser done and my hair went to permission that I would see my grandparents because they haven't seen me in a long time and they were worried about me and everything. And, you know, which is another thing, you, you girls and boys should let your family know you're okay and safe. Don't, don't stop contact for a couple of years because it, it hurts them, it really does.
So, yeah, when my hair goes into remission, I'm gonna try to see them, but I'm feeling really nervous about that. And I'm not quite sure why, but I'm, I'm like, excited and I'm terrified. I've never been to middle field looking like this, at least never really outdoors. And I love them. I love them both. This one time, <laughs> me and my grandfather, we were working on the vehicle and he was showing me, you know, like how to check the oil and you know, change the antifreeze and tire pressure and everything. And after we got done, I wanted to run up and give him a great big hug and kiss. So I calmly walked up over to him and I shook his hand and said thank you. I'm not sure how he's going to deal with me. I mean, I'm much more affectionate and I'm much more touchy-feely and I don't want to scare him off or anything because he's very inverted, you know, you don't really know what he's thinking and I just, you know, I'm feeling very nervous about that. But I'm sure it'll go well. No matter what, I am not going to get hurt. At least that's what I tell myself. Also, Samantha let me borrow her camera, which is the one I'm using. <gasps> Speaking of Samantha, ooh, Samantha gave Teresa permission to put the first two episodes of Transition, which is a film she directed, and it's an independent film, and it's all about a transgendered individual and the changes she goes through, but not only the changes she goes through, but the changes everyone else goes through as well. And it's a really, really beautiful, touching story. It's, it's, it's got its points, you know. It'll make you go through every emotion on, on a spectrum. But it's very accurate and it's very close to home because it was made by transgendered individuals and has transgendered characters and people that are transgendered in the movie. So it's really, really good. And if you want to find it, you need to go on YouTube and look up Sepornistas. It's like Saporn. And then add like the, the like last part of Senoritas. Sepornistas. Yeah, and you'll be able to find it. It's it's really good. If you watch it and you like it, let me know what you think. So that's all that's really going on in my world right now. So I guess I'm going to say, this is Ariana Lynn Fails saying thank you. And 